Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel or blog for another card video. Today I'm sharing a card created with the Concord and Ninths Tropical Vibe stamps and dies along with a few other products that will be linked below and you can find them listed on my blog post as well. Here's a quick look at the Tropical Vibes Turnabout stamp and dies. So here's the alignment aid that comes with the turnabout stamp. You want to make sure the words this side up are right side up before aligning your stamp. Lay the stamp onto the alignment aid stamp side down. I recommend that you take your time with this step because it makes all the difference in the results you get when stamping. Next, I want to grab my jig, place my jig into my stamp positioning tool. And you'll notice there's an X there on that jig. I'll show it to you right here. You want to align the X on the alignment aid with the X on the jig. Then close the lid of the MISTI and pick up the stamp and remove the alignment aid. I have placed a six by six piece of 80 pound cardstock on the jig using repositionable adhesive and I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp the image. So I ink the stamp up, stamp it, turn the jig one turn, and repeat the process until I'm done. I'm loving black and white backgrounds right now. I think this might be my thing, so you might be seeing a lot of it in the near future. So here's the end result of our stamping with the turnabout, and I'm loving it like I just said. I have the Tropical Vibes dies here ready to do a lot of die cutting. I'm going to start by die cutting the word dies, good vibes, using Concord and Ninth Gold Glitter Paper from the Neutrals Glitter Paper Pack. I cut a small piece so that I can run it through the sidekick. I position the glitter paper, the die cut on the cutting plate and secure it with post-it tape, then run it through the machine. I'm die cutting three more layers with white cardstock. So I cut down a piece of cardstock. I add KOTOR Creations die cut and bond double-sided tape to the back of it. And this will make layering the words much easier. All I will have to do is peel the backing off of the die cut words and stack them on top of each other. So off screen, I die cut two circles, one of them with vellum and the other circle is Simon Says Stamp Audrey Blue. I'm going to be building the word dies onto the vellum first. Unfortunately, I didn't think about the die cut and bond until after I had cut the glitter paper and I'm using Gina K Connect Glue to add that to the paper. It works just, just as well, it just takes a little bit more time. Once we're done, we'll set this aside and let it dry. So here's the Audrey Blue die cut circle that I will be adding the vellum to. I'm using Gorilla Glue clear 3D mounting tape so that you can't see it behind the vellum. And by using the clear Gorilla tape, you don't have to be so particular about the placement of your tape and it holds like nobody's business. I love the tape for uh, vellum. I use it quite often for it. So here's our sentiment for our card. It's so pretty. You can see how much it's already, you know, popping off of that black and white background. So I'm just gonna set that aside and start die cutting the other pieces for the card. I've gathered some small pieces of cardstock from my scraps bin. I have Simon Says Stamp Audrey Blue. I have Raisin Boat Think Pink, which is no longer available. It's just something I have in my stash. I have Gina K Dandelion and my favorite things, Limelight. Plus I have some colored vellum. I actually used the green to die cut leaves, but I ended up not using the orange, so we'll, you won't see that on there. The first thing I want to do is to cut down the stamped background and I'm going to cut it down to a five and a quarter by five and a quarter inch. 
and when I'm cutting the pattern paper I like to cut from all four sides to keep the pattern balanced so I'm going to adhere that to a five and a half by five and a half inch card base with my ATG gun and then I'm going to start adding all of those die cut pieces that you see I'm going to fast forward through all of that I did put a 3d mounting foam on the back of the sentiment and centered it on our card base and um, you'll just see me adding all, I'm arranging all of the pieces first to see where I might want them and then I go back and adhere them once I finally decide where I want everything to be and you see I have it laid out like this and then I completely change my mind and put it another way and hey isn't that what it's all about I really love the way this card turned out I love all of those bright colors with that black and white background and the gold glitter paper just popping off I it's so pretty to me um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about during this was the gold glitter paper the Concord and Ninth is a six by six gold glitter paper and it's amazing and it comes in a pack that has gold, silver, uh, a graphite and then a white, um, almost iridescent. The glitter doesn't come off the paper. It's six by six pieces like I said and it's perfect for someone like me that wants to have a little bit of glitter, pa glitter paper but doesn't want to have a lot of glitter paper because I don't always use glitter paper I, that might that might change now but um, up until this point I didn't use a lot of glitter paper okay so we have all of our pieces pieces in place and you can see how pretty this is turning out I I love this card so I'm going to finish it off with some honeybee stamps sunlight confetti and I'm using glossy accents to add that Um, and again, I'm, I just, I'm loving this black and white thing. I, I don't know what it is about it and the bright colors just popped off of it so nicely. So it's such a bright and happy card. I think it's a perfect encouragement card for summertime. Um, a little bit about the honeybee stamps confetti. I don't know if you've ever checked out her confetti. Her confetti is absolutely amazing so I purchased a couple of packets of her um, confetti the first time I made an order from her a couple of months ago and immediately I had after I received it in the mail which came two days after I ordered it um, immediately I had to order more of her confetti and now her confetti is just about the only confetti I use it's so beautiful she has so many different colors and you think well that you know the pearl and the opal well they they are white they look kind of alike but let me tell you when you get them out and you lay them out you will see that there's a difference there and the way that her confetti picks up the colors off of your projects is so beautiful I, I in every video I just about always use her confetti and I always say if you don't have honeybee stamps confetti you need to buy some because it's amazing so um, here you're just gonna see me using my favorite little pick-me-up stick and like I said the glossy accents to finish off the card and I think that's it for this card so I do believe that's a wrap for this video I hope you enjoyed joining me today and that my hope is you will walk away inspired and ready to head to your craft area to create your own projects. Um, I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. Be sure to subscribe to my website to have access to my videos before they're published to the public. And I'm adding a little end note here with that. If you are subscribed to my website and you, um, I will send, be sending out an email about some fun things coming up. So head over there and subscribe. So as always, 
please, please know, I know you're taking time out of your busy schedule to watch a crafting video that someone you don't even know made, and it means the world to me, and I appreciate you guys so much for doing that. So until next time, my crafty friends, keep crafting.